coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Horizon Aircraft sold to investors. Steadicopter develops hazmat courier version of Black Eagle. And Ukrainian DIY drones used against Russian forces. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Horizon Aircraft Sold to Investors Horizon Aircraft, an eVTOL aircraft developer, has been sold by Astro Aerospace after its acquisition in June in 2021. The deal saw the transfer of Horizon over to a group of Astro shareholders in a move that CEO Brandon Robinson says will, quote, allow Horizon Aircraft to accelerate development of our eVTOL in the private sector with access to more flexible funding mechanisms, end quote. Upon the signing of the initial agreement, Astro CEO Bruce Bent said, quote, Horizon's progress has been nothing short of outstanding over the last year with several grants, a USAF contract award, and a large-scale prototype ready to fly, end quote. The deal allowed Astro Aerospace to sell 100% of Horizon aircraft equity to several key Astro shareholders in exchange for certain public securities and a fraction of the now privatized Horizon. The shift is expected to set the company up for a round of Series A funding to enable at least 24 months of continuous and expensive development of the company's prototype Cavarite X-Series eVTOL. Horizon has indeed made some promising headway on developing a full-scale Cavarite X5, busy at work testing its 50% scale prototype as it moves along in the highly competitive AFWorks HS VTOL challenge. And after the break, ULA Vulcan Centaur to bear Star Trek luminaries heavenward. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. ULA Vulcan Centaur to bear Star Trek luminaries heavenward. A somewhat uncrewed United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur mission is scheduled to deliver the ashes of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and cast members James Doohan, Lieutenant Commander Montgomery Scott, Nichelle Nichols, Lieutenant Uhura, and Major Barrett Roddenberry, Nurse Christine Chapel, into a so-called graveyard orbit around the sun. The launch is awaiting a test of a new engine configuration. Currently, Vulcan's inaugural launch is slated for December 2022. MQ-9 Extended Range Variant to Serve with Marine Corps The Navy's Air Systems Command awarded a $135.8 million contract to General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for eight brand-new MQ-9A Extended Range uncrewed aircraft, slated for delivery by the end of 2023. The order adds the most updated modern rendition of the long-standing MQ-9A with enhanced range, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities vital for use by the Marine Expeditionary Force. The MQ-9ER in particular boasts up to 34 hours of endurance, adding more capability over the older MQ-9s already in service. EVE to host urban air mobility simulation in Chicago 
Seeking to study eVTOL operations, ground services, passenger journeys, and operator needs, EVE Holding Incorporated will conduct its first North American UAM simulation in Chicago, Illinois. Pending the certification of EVE's promising and hot-selling eVTOL platform, the simulation will utilize helicopters provided by air transport broker Blade Air Mobility in the stead of actual eVTOL aircraft. The simulation will be conducted over three weeks, starting with ground tests on September 12th before proceeding to passenger flights on September 14th. Classic Aero TV, Camp AMA, where tomorrow's aviators get started. A recent classic episode of ANN's Aero TV profiles the AMA's Camp AMA. The Academy of Model Aeronautics offers a lot of programs designed to foster interest in model aviation. One of those is Camp AMA, a week-long summer camp program at the organization's headquarters in Muncie, Indiana. The 2019 feature video is currently online at aero-news.net. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Steadicopter develops hazmat courier version of Black Eagle. Steadicopter joined UK-based Viking Drone Packaging to launch a collaboration to transport and deliver hazardous materials via uncrewed aircraft. The match was a natural one, leveraging Steadicopter's Black Eagle rotary wing UAV along with Viking's expertise in durable, secure container systems. The end result will see the Black Eagle 50E equipped with a multifunction payload container capable of delivering dangerous goods from one destination to another with minimal concern. The new capability adds another function to an aircraft that may sometimes be seen as primarily an ISR bird, given the usual complement of sensors and survey equipment commonly seen. Viking Drone Packaging designed the cargo container with as wide an envelope as possible within the Black Eagle's footprint, allowing customers maximum freedom in payload selection and stowage. The UAV already boasts one of the better, more mature options for those shopping around for uncrewed helicopter aircraft, and the addition of Cargo Courier is certainly a draw for anyone trying to have one do-all drone in the inventory. The Black Eagle 50E has already seen a flurry of testing among enterprise and military users in recent months as the nascent industry establishes the capabilities of the quickly advancing UAV market. And after these messages, Ukrainian DIY drones used against Russian forces. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Ukrainian DIY drones used against Russian forces. Ukraine's volunteer armed forces comprise a small but effective group of drone operators who've consistently and convincingly demonstrated the efficacy with which consumer drones can be used to identify targets, detect artillery fire, assess battle damage, and drop grenades on Russian combatants. Aero Rozvidka aerial reconnaissance personnel have carried out a number of brutally succinct missions that have seen off-the-shelf FPV drones, primarily iterations of DJI and Anubi racing models, deposit Russian-made 30mm VOG 17M high-explosive grenades into trenches, foxholes, and even vehicles occupied by Russian military operatives. Ordnance-carrying kamikaze drones, such as the U.S.-supplied Switchblade 300 and Phoenix Ghost, are referred to in military parlance as loitering munitions. Lacking access to such high-dollar assets, Ukraine's civilian warfighters have cobbled together improvised loitering munitions from the commercial drones, common electric components, and scavenged weaponry. 
Aero Rosvidka tactics are pragmatic and effective. Most missions entail two drones piloted by two operators, one performing battle zone reconnaissance and identifying targets with a conventional quadcopter drone, and the other attacking with an FPV drone. The attack drone pilot guides his machine via special goggles wirelessly paired to the drone's camera. The method is so effective that drone attacks have been successfully carried out on Russian forces defilated in buildings. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.